Welcome to my YouTube channel PowerPoint University. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create modern business infographic slide in PowerPoint. When I click, it will show you the title one with the icons there and with uh, a shadow effect. Then it will come to the title two. Likewise, it will three, four and five will come with different colors. And I have made similar slide uh, with a different background. It will show you the same five titles or five options. And the last one is somewhat a bigger size. So let's see how we can create this slide in PowerPoint. Add a new slide. Go to insert shapes. Under rectangles, select the last one, which is rectangle diagonal corner rounded. Just select the pointer and make it more curved. And you can change the background color by going to the format background and give some uh, light gray color. And this I'm just going to make a duplicate. First of all, make it no outline and you can give some transparency level and press Ctrl D to duplicate it. So I'm going to use for the later purpose. Again, one more duplicate and bring on the top. If you can see here the, the dark area, I'm just going to cut that only. So select both the objects and go to merge shape and say intersect. So you get this particular shape now. Remove the transparency. And for this also you can remove the transparency and give a white background. And bring it here and then send this to back. Increase the size. And you can give some gradient fill to it. I'm going to give two color combinations. Maybe a pink uh, with a light purple. And you can just change the, the direction of the colors. And the white one also you can press Ctrl D to duplicate and give the same pink color and send this to back and just give a edge only the edge only should be visible should look like a border and go to insert shapes select a triangle and rotate the triangle to vertical and using the pointer you can just change the shape of that make it no outline and give the same pink color reduce the size and place it to the the left corner of the shape You can insert a oval shape. Make a small oval shape and fill with white color and just bring to this particular position and send to back. I'm going to thread this triangle to give some shadow effect. Move the pointer to the other side and select the gradient fill the one point i'm just going to use a black color the other i'm just going to make the transparency level to 100 percent and the black also just increase the transparency level and you can go to the options and the soft adjust you can increase it and then bring it here and send this to back Still the shadow is on the top, you have to send this to back. So this is the 
this is okay and then you can insert the text here you can insert whatever the text you like to add it here you can insert the title as well as the text and give the font color also the same as pink and i've added some icons here so you can just bring the icons on the top and place it here now select all and right mouse click and group it or you can just say ctrl g also to group it you can reduce the size and make it at the one end and press ctrl d to duplicate rotate the size the shape sorry the other side so I'm just going to make a five options out of this. So this is the fourth and this is the fifth. And this shape also I'm just going to rotate it to horizontal. Align it properly according to your requirement. And I'm going to ungroup this, change the icon with a different one and change the background color also with different colors. You can use any good color combination. Remove the icon and add a different icon to it. Bring this to front and use the same color. The borders also and before doing the next one you have to group it the first one press ctrl G to group it and then come to the third option ungroup it and follow the same steps you have to do it for two sorry three four and five change the color and the icons so here i have changed the colors and now it's time to give some animation enable the animation select the first option and say fly in effect you can just select effect which effect from where the direction should come so i'm just selected from the left side from bottom left this also and you can make this on click or after previous it's up to your requirement again give the same flying effect so this one the fly in but the direction i'm going to save from bottom right so this comes from the right side and the last also the fly in and from the bottom right so let's see how it looks now the slideshow so when I click it will show you the option one then two three four and five That's it from me friends, thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university, see you soon with more interesting stuff, till then goodbye.